What is going on guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with some more news, and boy do we have some big news. Let's join us now as we look at the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know, including Vince McMahon steps down as WWE CEO and Chairman, and Stephanie is now the new Chairwoman and CEO, Vince addressing everything tonight on SmackDown, Matt Hardy talks Jeff's current problems, more Sasha Banks news concerning a potential exit, and much more. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out WrestleMania.co.uk and our non-wrestling channel, Incredible. But now let's see the intro and get straight into our first story. Our first story looks at the latest on the WWE scandal. Top in today's headlines are the reports coming in concerning the WWE scandal involving reports that the WWE Board of Directors is investigating payouts made to female employees to sign non-disclosure agreements concerning misconduct by Vince McMahon and John Laurinaitis in exchange for payouts. While the investigation into hush money scandal is still going on, there have been a number of interesting developments in the story, the first being that Vince McMahon voluntarily steps down as WWE CEO and Chairman. As the WWE has announced that Vince McMahon is stepping down as WWE CEO and Chairman, with Stephanie McMahon serving in the interim. WWE released this statement saying, WWE and the board of directors today announced that a special committee of the board is conducting an investigation into alleged misconduct by its chairman and CEO Vincent McMahon and John Laurinaitis, head of talent relations, and that effective immediately, McMahon has voluntarily stepped back from his responsibilities as CEO and chairman of the board until the conclusion of the investigation. McMahon will retain his role and responsibilities related to WWE's creative content during this period and remains committed to cooperating with the review underway. The special committee has appointed Stephanie McMahon to serve as interim CEO and interim chairwoman. Now this move isn't kind of unexpected given Vince being a big part of this investigation. What is somewhat surprising is Stephanie McMahon's appointment as interim CEO and chairwoman. After all, Stephanie recently left a role as chief brand officer, stating that she was taking this time to focus on her family. There was speculation about whether there was any other reason for Stephanie stepping away, particularly after a Business Insider story insinuated she left due to the WWE not performing up to expectations. However, as we've discussed in our analysis of the WWE scandal, there is a possibility that someone is trying to force Vince McMahon out of the WWE by leaking the hush money story to the press. If someone is trying to oust Vince McMahon from the company, is it possible he had Stephanie appointed in order to protect his interests? While he may have one or more individuals on the board who are working to oust him, and at this point this is just speculation, he likely has allies to get Stephanie appointed. Furthermore, wrestling's billion dollar princess has gained an image as a friendly face for the company and someone who has championed the WWE self-proclaimed women's movement. The board may feel she is a good look and an eventual replacement for the company while it waits for its investigation into Mr. McMahon, John Laurinaitis and the WWE's corporate culture as it relates to protecting individuals from predatory behaviour. In any event, Stephanie is already stepping up when it comes to protecting a strong image that will hopefully assuage any stockholder's concern about the WWE. Stephanie tweeted, Until the conclusion of the investigation into recent allegations, I am honoured to assume the role of interim chairwoman and CEO. I love WWE and all it continues to do to entertain billions around the world. WrestleNomics Brandon Thurston tweeted about the message Stephanie sent to WWE staff. A message was simultaneously sent out to all WWE staff when the press release came out. Stephanie said, I will be returning from my leave of absence and assuming the role of interim chairwoman and CEO. I love our company and I am excited to continue working with our president and chief revenue officer Nick Khan and our chief financial and administrative officer Frank Riddick. And of course I look forward to working with all of you. My door is open. Are you guys surprised to see Stephanie as chairwoman? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, Nick Khan working on the WWE investigation. Our fans are asking what WWE President and Chief Revenue Officer Nick Khan's involvement is with the investigation into the hush money allegations being made about Vince McMahon and Laurinaitis. Meltzer commented on the situation in this week's Observer Newsletter noting, Eight of the twelve members of the WWE Board of Directors started the investigation in April after receiving the emails. Of the four who are not part of this investigation, three were Vince McMahon, Stephanie McMahon and Paul Levesque. It's believed the fourth person not involved is company president Nick Khan. The investigation is being handled by an independent law firm that the WWE's board of directors hired. While it's unknown if Khan leaked the information about the investigation, it would be a perceived if not actual conflict of interest for him to participate in this. But what about John Laurinaitis' status? Well, so far Johnny Ace's status in the WWE remains unknown. 
According to the Wall Street Journal, a WWB spokesperson has declined to say whether Mr. Laurinaitis remains with the company. Mr. Laurinaitis didn't immediately respond to a request for a comment. With McMahon stepping down, it seems inevitable that the former wrestler turned WWE executive will take a leave of absence or even resign as the investigation proceeds. But Mr. McMahon is scheduled for SmackDown tonight. Now, as wild as the WWE scandal is, Vince McMahon has decided to appear on tonight's episode of SmackDown. WWE tweeted, Mr. McMahon will appear on SmackDown tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time live on Fox. But that's just the tip of the iceberg as CNBC's Alex Sherman is reporting, News from CNBC, Vince McMahon will speak tonight on SmackDown in character as Mr. McMahon to address his temporary absence. Could be a big ratings night for WWE. McMahon has torn up the script for SmackDown, which was written last night, I'm told. While the idea of Mr. McMahon character appearing in the midst of a real-life scandal might seem insane, it's likely Vinnie Mac is looking at this purely in terms of ratings as he knows both casual fans and non-WWE fans may tune in just to watch what could be a train wreck segment. With Riddle challenging Roman Reigns for the Undisputed Championship in a match where a loss means the Ultimate Bro will be barred from challenging for the title as long as Reigns holds the belt, McMahon probably feels the ratings will go up even more. There's also speculation that the Mr. McMahon character will address the allegations, but we think that this is kind of unlikely, unless Vince is at the end of his proverbial rope. Instead, the WWE will likely run some sort of storyline where he's laid out by a wrestler. An attack by someone like Reigns could also explain Reigns' absence from television as he's suspended or even stripped of the title. What do you guys think will happen when Vince shows up? Will he address everything? Let us know in the comments down below. Next up, WWE thinks Sasha Banks is easily replaceable. But does the WWE think Sasha Banks is a superstar who can be easily replaced? Well, that's the report coming in from Andrew Zarian of the Mac Men podcast who recently discussed the Banks situation. In their minds, they could clone Sasha with somebody else and have her fit the role, and no problem. It's now a role you're playing. It's a role with mid-level actors. Everybody's a mid-level actor, except for Roman Reigns or a Brock Lesnar or a Cody Rhodes. Those guys are the stars. That's unknown if Sasha Banks has been or will be released from the WWE soon, but it's believed her attorney is working to obtain a release. However, a recent Instagram post from the boss may have the answer. As Sasha Banks doesn't appear to have left the WWE yet, at least based on the recent Instagram post that read, see now this is why I stay off Twitter and just making up stuff weekly for no reason. And finally, Matt Hardy discusses Jeff's current situation. Last but not least, Matt Hardy recently took the time to address Brother Jeff's a recent DUI arrest and the problems he's dealing with. Matt spoke about things during his Extreme Life of Matt Hardy podcast, noting he missed being able to participate in the 15th June Dynamite, where Jurassic Express defended the AEW World Tag Team Championship against the Bucks, but noted he was proud of both teams' work. He thanked the fans for their support, saying, I love you guys. I've received so many fantastic texts and just different social media messages from so many different people. There's been so much love and support aimed towards me and my role in this whole scenario. People have been very sympathetic and very apologetic and have shown so much wonderful love and support towards me and I'm very grateful for that. Matt discussed his concerns about Jeff indicating Jeff's health and well-being are all he cares about. I was very saddened and the actual word that I said was very disheartening about the events that happened but I support my brother 100% and I'm going to pull for him. I'm going to give him as much support as I can to help him be as healthy and as well as he can possibly be. Matt also theorized where Jeff's problems came from. I feel some sort of Jess issues probably come from our mother dying when he was so, so young. That was always an issue that he carried with him deeply. Matt, who battled addiction himself, discussed what motivates him to stay sober. I know 100% the biggest thing that drives me to stay healthy and not have an addiction issue at all, because I'm sure I'm having an addictive personality, but the thing that keeps me running and stronger than anything else is my family, my children specifically. I mean my wife as well, she would whip my ass as everyone knows. Any kind of chemical addiction that I might have, or would have, all that's been traded in for the addiction of my children. And while our fans will have to wait and see what's next for Jeff Hardy, wrestling's charismatic enigma seems to have plenty of support from his brother. But there you have it folks, the wildest news stories and rumors you need to know. Be sure to leave your comments down below, and I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.